hello welcome to my channel this video is going to cover a string methods let's start with this method called is printable so it is just going to show it is going to show the true condition or boolean value if all the characters are printable let's assume we have this uh, text equals to this hello and all this kind of thing and when you use this hello and then slash and r space u space this has one question mark then we'll have x equals to this txt dot is printable then it will show a false statement next method is this r partition and this will take some string so everything before the match so it will it is going to create some tuple having three elements at first index it will have everything before what is what it is matching and in the second index we have a match and in the last place we will have after what you are uh, searching or after what is the match and let's assume we have the text that is i could eat banana all day so these bananas are my favorite food so when you use this x equals to this txt dot r partition of these bananas and if you use this if you are going to print this x then the output will be will have a tuple having three elements for the first case we have i could eat bananas all day in the first index we have bananas and in the last index we have a space and we have are my favorite food and when you use this x dot txt dot r partition of these apples if you use this print of this x then the output will be so this apple is not actually present in this string so first and the second index zero index and the one index will have empty strings and all the strings comes at the last place that so next comes this upper method and this initially i i have taken this text as hello my friends and next case i have just used this since this txt is a string then this can use the upper method and this is going to be its return value stored at this variable x and after that we are going to print this x and all this element will be converted into up upper case that is capital h e l l o space m y space this friends and coming to the next method that is it is about using the dictionary as ascii code to replace this 83 to this 80 code so when it comes to this ascii code 48 is treated as number 0 49 is for the number 1 and so on uh, for the capital A its ASCII code is uh, 65 and capital Z will be something like 90 and when it comes to this small uh, small A its ASCII code is 97 and small Z is something like 122 so that's how we'll have this ASCII codes so when when you make this dictionary as 83 is to this 80 and you have this text equals to this hello sam and after that if you use this txt dot translate of this my dictionary we'll have this hello space pim so s is converted to this p so this capital S might have this ASCII code of 83 
so for capital A, as I said it is 65 and for B it is 66 and so on for S it will be 83 so 83 will be converted to this 80 so it becomes capital P so next example to understand about this translate and to make a translate so I have just created this txt and which is equals to hello Sam again so I have just created a variable a my table which is going to store a value that is str dot make trans so it is just going to make a translate and so s will be so this takes a two values one is capital s comma capital p this has to be both of them has to be string and after that let us print this txt dot translate of this variable my table you can observe that this s is converted to this capital p so you can either use this dictionary or you can use this make trans and when it comes to another example that is txt equals to high sum and x is taken as m capital s a string and y is taken as small e capital g o as a string and when you use this make trans of this x comma y so this means that wherever we have this m it will change into this e wherever we have this capital s it's converted to converted to this capital z small e is converted to this small o so that is the use of this make trans x comma y and when you print this txt dot translate of this my table will have hi joe so so these are two parameters and there is another case we can use the third parameter and that is to remove from the string let's assume we have a txt which is equals to goodnight sam and x is taken as m small capital s small a y is taken as small e capital j o z is taken as small o small d small n small g small h small t and my table variable is equals to this str dot make trans x y and z so in the third place i have provided is z so whatever present in this z will be removed from this txt so when you print this txt dot translate of this my table then we will have capital g space i space capital j o e so actual string is this and because of this third argument z having all this value all this value is removed and x elements is replaced by this y element and coming to next example it is by using these dictionaries or set in codes txt equals to this goodnight sam and dictionary created which is having 109 is to 101 second element or second item is 83 is to 74 third item 97 is to 111 next 111 is to none 100 is to none 110 as none 103 as none 104 is to none 116 is to none so when you print this txt dot translate of this dictionary so wherever we have this none it is just going to remove then we will have this capital g space i space j o e 
and coming to next example that is this title method so when you take this txt variable equals to hello b2 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 and 3g 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 so all of them are small letters and when you use this title it is just going to convert this small h to capital h for this hello b2 b2 and b2 for here all of them are small converts to this capital b and this and word converted to this capital a and d and d is small letters 3g 3g and 3g converted to this capital letters g that is 3 capital g 3 capital g 3 capital g coming to the uh, one of the method that is swap case let's have a variable and this equals to hello capital H space my capital M space capital N name space capital I is space Peter uh, so Peter is having all these capitals so when you use this txt dot swap case method and storing in certain variable name x and when you print this x so wherever we have a small letter it converts to capital letter and capital letter is converted to a small letter so that is the use of this swap case method so i hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks and thanks for watching in upcoming videos i am going to provide these interesting kind of things so that you can able to use these methods for problem related programming or projects. So see you in the next video.